Oh, back here on the trade show floor with Commodity Classic 2016 in New Orleans. You get to see the latest and greatest, I kid you not. Registration, the last time I looked, was well over 9,000, which tells you that farmers are still very interested in the latest technology. Case IH bringing it to the marketplace. How many of you have struggled with different... Uh, tillage challenges. You know, in Wisconsin, we always worry about trying to get the soil warm as quick as we can, but if we got a lot of residue laying on top, that can cause us some real challenges. And residue has gotten to be the name of the game when it comes to overall planting. Case IH, they hear you. They are a Wisconsin company, and they're working on it. Chris Lurson's along with us. He is the tillage marketing manager, and this, my friends, is the Barracuda. Now, you've got the number for it. Yeah. Uh, introducing here at Community Classic is the uh, True Tandem 335 Barracuda. It's uh, building on our uh, vertical tillage lineup. Uh, started in the 330 Turbo a number of years ago, and then the 335 VT came along last year, and now we've uh, been listening to customers wanting to, as you mentioned, Pam, the uh, turning it blacker, trying to, to, to get more residue buried in those northern areas, climates that are, that are looking for uh, more blackness, the 335 Barracuda is going to take care of that. Man, this baby reminds me of Mad Max. This is a big machine that really does look like it. Oh, size is not the only thing going on here. There is a lot of precision science on moving that dirt. Yeah, there, there really is. Uh, the, the gang angles are precisely engineered for, for really uh, maximum movement of soil, but yet giving us the agronomic output that a customer is looking for, right. both on a surface finish basis as well as a flat floor. That's many uh, an area that many don't look at all that closely, I don't think, uh, but it's when you wipe away that top few inches of soil after it's been laid there on, from that tillage tool. What does it look like underground? Yeah. Our tillage tool and the uh, particular the, the true tandem series is capable of giving you a, a precise and level seed bed. So tell me a little bit more about that because I think you're right. We've seen it. You drag that that residue along and you don't think about what it's doing to the soil below. Why did Case IH decide to pay attention to that? Well, it, it affects the, the planter. We're, yeah. we're we're always thinking about complementing seed placement. Uh, it's not it's not just a, a saying. We we are always concentrating on that planter. That's the most important pass right. in the in the in the spring, uh, and it sets the stage for everything. Uh, however, we can we can do a little planning and, and help that planter become more efficient, more product productive uh, as it moves through the field. So that's that's one of the reasons that we look at uh, you know that agronomic design we call it all the way through uh, uh, all of our products. It's right. not just the planter as you uh, probably have already seen with the 2150. Uh, we're also complementing it uh, with our new products uh, in the 335 Barracuda and really all of our products. Now ease of operation that's something that we've heard as a theme yeah. at Commodity Classic in every show. Tell me about ease of operation on the Barracuda. Sure. Well, all of our True Tandem products are, you know, capable of single point depth control. Uh, a, a number of things with uh, uh, getting better conditioning on, sure. on the on the backside as well, uh, from the the baskets and the crumblers on the backside. Yeah. L last year we introduced the Tiger Paw Crumbler, which is a uh, a very rugged uh, crumbler oh, yeah. on the backside <laughs> that, that is able to uh, size clods and, and give us that residue tucking we we're looking for. But also its adjustability has become easier in fully hydraulic uh, okay. downforce control as well as uh, from the cab, being able to lift and lower that crumbler uh, out of the way in muddy conditions, as many Wisconsiners are probably oh, yes. seeing it on a, on a yearly basis. But um, yeah, four F leveling is is crucial for these products to uh, to give us that flat floor that I was talking about. We can do that from the cab as well. Yeah, and uh, just so that you see that these crumblers, like he said, uh, not only are they hooked to that hydraulic. I mean, it's all the way along. Tell me a little bit about the, the other engineering difference for the Case IH Barracuda, and that is basically the blades that we're looking at. Yeah, that's right. The, the new Barracuda blade, uh, as, as compared to our prior uh, vertical tillage blade, actually, I shouldn't say prior, the current vertical tillage blade uh, has grown in size a little bit. It's about a 22-inch blade, uh, which allows us to go deeper with it. You know, we, we stay up to four inches deep. Uh, it has a little bit more concavity to it, not quite to the level of a disc arrow, but okay. a little bit more concavity than our 20-inch V. T blade that we use, uh, which gives us more soil movement, more residue mixing, and uh, an overall kind of a blacker surface finish for soil warm up. Uh, it, it continues on the tradition of a crimp center, which gives us a solid place for those those uh, spools to, to mate up. And and when we tighten that gang down, it's always tight and stays that way throughout the life. So, yeah. and the other thing is that it's serrated. Uh, of course, that's what yeah. makes it look so angry and mean, it and does. as the Barracuda <laughs> uh, name would suggest. <laughs> It, uh, it, it's obviously a residue cutting machine and, wow. uh, and it also extends the life of the blade as well. So sure. we're able to go more acres uh, because of the 22 inch diameter and those serrations that chisel tip is able to wear uh, and then the, the valleys in between are able to, to be that cutting edge Excellent. after that. So Chris Lurson's along with us here on the trade show floor at Commodity Classic. So visually describe for me, Chris, what, what the ground looks like behind 
the last of the of the tiger paws. Yeah, sure. So the um, you know surface finish is 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 a, is a critical thing. Many many customers are judging that book by yeah. its cover, so to speak. And uh, you know you, you're you're looking at you know 95 to 100 percent level of, of residue cover when you're when you're combining some some heavy you know 150 right. to 200 bushel yeah. corn depending. And uh, you know we, we think we can we can knock that down into the to the 70s. Uh, and vertical tillage often is sometimes you know into the 80s and 90s as yeah. far as percent cover. So right. you know we we can get ourselves uh, down there and, and really uh, uh, give us a blacker surface finish. But yet keep high productivity levels. That's a key thing to the Barracuda is that it, it gives us a darker finish but it doesn't mean that we have to do it at a slower pace like a disc harrow uh, okay. it's able to keep high speeds up to nine miles an hour oh, wow. that's always been the attractive thing to vertical tillage is oh, it's yeah. it's just a, a high productivity uh, uh, tool and you know this is kind of giving the best of both worlds we feel uh, with with high speeds via giving us a, that surface finish that many have really come to expect or want I should say from a vertical tillage tool but weren't able to get you know and that's just it sometimes we get a little anxious we get in a little early yeah. what kind of monitor do we have if it's starting to stick up or anything like that? Um, yeah, it's really more visual than yeah. anything. Uh, yeah, it, you got to pay attention, and with the advent of guidance, it makes it a lot easier just to yeah. really pay attention and do the best job possible yep. uh, by, by being able to watch the tool versus where I'm driving. Right, so. right. Well, and like I said, if you made mistakes in the past with compaction or something like that, I got to believe this will help uh, take care of that quicker, too. Yeah, it, it can. You know, with, with deeper depths, we're not going to reach those depths that, that yeah, our combo yeah. primary machines do. The 875 is because a very very popular tool in those areas looking to break up a compaction yeah. layer at 10 to 11 to 12 inches deep we're only going four uh, inches okay. deep but uh, but definitely able to get rid of the surface compaction as well as you know if you had a wet fall uh, yeah. you're able to, to take care of those ruts smooth it off and give us a good seed bed well and if I got a, if I didn't get anything done in fall yeah. I'm coming after a monster of a bunch of, of residue in the spring yeah fast. yeah absolutely I, I call vertical tillage in some cases a save That's situation exactly right. you know uh, you're, you're looking at ninth inning of a baseball game to kind of save <laughs> the game uh, when, when you didn't do it right the first eight innings. Uh, this, this vertical tillage can be like that and, and kind of give us a save, get us a seed bed prepared uh, and, and get out and plant as quick as possible yeah. just because of the high productivity levels. Yeah. Nine miles an hour, one pass, I like it. Yeah, who, who doesn't like traveling that fast across oh my the God. field? That's a lot of fun. If you haven't done it, you should try it. <laughs> well, I'll take you up on that. Yeah, Good right. deal. Chris Larson's along with us talking about the Barracuda. That's our new tillage system. you got to take a look at it. If you're at Commodity Classic here in New Orleans, there she be. If not, go to CaseIH.com and take a look at all the options. Hope to see some of these squirreling across Wisconsin farm fields this spring. From Commodity Classic with my friends at Case IH, I'm the fabulous farm babe.